All right, we welcome Kansas student athletes Ochai Abaji and David McCormick to the dais. We'll go ahead and remind you that if uh, you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll get the microphone to you. If you direct a question at a, direct, at a specific student athlete, that's helpful. But please speak into the microphone, and we'll open it up to questions for Ochai Abaji and David McCormick. For both players, uh, growing up watching the NCAA tournament, can you talk about maybe some of your fondest memories of watching the tournament and just your thoughts on being here now as, as freshmen? Ochai? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's really special. Um, I'm really excited to play. Uh, you know, like you said, just growing up watching this, um, I mean, kind of kind of came fast. But I mean, now that I'm here in the moment, it's, it's, it's surreal. So. Uh, just Agreeing with Ochai completely is a tremendous feeling being here. Uh, growing up watching it, always playing basketball, you always want to be uh, in the same footsteps as other players that you are very fond of. So now that we're here, I'm taking full advantage of it. Um, one of Northeastern's strengths this season offensively has been their three point shot. Um, what is kind of your guys' mentality defensively to try to um, stifle that? David? Uh, well, knowing that they're a great three-point shooting team, we're definitely going to have to press up because we know they like to play four on one end. So <clears throat> we're going to have to make sure uh, that we take away all uh, first thought shots and, um, and make sure that we uh, can communicate and just uh, switch when we need to and things of those sorts. Uh, yeah, like you said, just got the shooters, um, really pressure them. Um, uh, obviously, you know, like you said, they play four out, one in. Um, and, you know, we play that too, so I think you know we can match that. Uh, you know, with their guard play too. So, uh, just for you guys and kind of the freshman group you've had, how have you guys kind of developed over the course of the season as you've gotten to this point and maybe together gelled a little bit more as you've kind of faced adversity through injuries with your team? Ocha. Uh, I mean, Coach has uh, he's, uh, told us, you know, um, kind of late this season, he said, you know, we, uh, we're not freshmen anymore uh, at this point in the season. Um, we've matured a lot, uh, obviously, you know, what, be, what, be been, uh, what we've been through um, and, you know, the type of uh, games and stuff we've been through. So I think. David? Uh, as much as we play, it doesn't feel like we're freshmen anymore. Like, the expectations change. Uh, the more experience that you have on the court, you know, the better you have a feel for the game. So things become easier and there's a better flow. Uh, when we face adversity, it just brings us closer together as a team and uh, really unites us. Um, David, uh, Diedrich has been a guy um, this season who's kind of been one of the workhorses for you guys. What do you, got, what do you guys kind of expect out of him in this game? Uh, just to play his game and do what he knows how to do. He's uh, very versatile. He's a great uh, post score, he can stretch the floor as well because he can shoot. So as long as he plays how he knows how to play and he has that confidence that he always brings, we uh, we're behind him. Ocha, is there a, a team that you face this year that reminds you of Northeastern with their their guard lineup, the way they shoot the three? Uh, I probably have to say. Iowa State. I mean, uh, you know, playing them. Uh, obviously, all all four of their guards can can shoot it. Um, they kind of played that. So I think um, you know we'll be we'll be guarding you know similar how how we did to them. And also uh, Texas Tech too, because uh, they play four out one in um, and they could all shoot it too. So. More questions. Uh, David, just for you, playing against the, uh, with a guy like Diedrich up in the front court, how does that kind of help your development, and, and how do you feel like you guys work together at the at the four and the five? Uh, definitely helped my game a lot. You know, just being able to watch him play helps my game, and then playing with him makes it a lot easier because he's uh, he slows down the game and makes it easier as far as passing and uh, opening up shots and opening up lanes. So when a guy can do that, it makes the big man the big man job much easier. Ochai, you kind of mentioned um, those Iowa State and Texas Tech games. How, how are those games where um, they, they shot successfully at the three, how are those games going to kind of help you guys de de pre prepare defensively for this one? 
Uh, yeah, obviously, you know, those two games, um, I mean, they shot uh, really well, um, especially uh, Texas Tech. So I think, you know, uh, we can't give them those open open looks. Um, I think, you know, we got to come out way more aggressive than we did in those games. And um, I think we'll be fine. So. Ocha, you go from uh, red shirt to starting in, in the NCAA tournament all in one season. It's kind of a whirlwind type of year for you. Can you just kind of capsulize what it's all been like for you? Uh, it's it's really been crazy. It's uh it really came really uh, really fast. I think. Um, I mean, I I remember when I was you know red shirt and just sitting on the bench, and next thing you know, like I'm being called up to play. So I think uh, you know it happened in the span of a month, and it was really fast. So I'm I'm enjoying it though. All right, we'll dismiss the student athletes, and we'll have coach up in just a moment. Thank you, guys.
I'll put you right. Coach, I'll put you right here. If you don't mind. We welcome Coach Self to the dais, and we'll remind you to uh, let us know when you have a question. I'll direct a mic holder to your area, and if you direct your questions into the microphones, that would be terrific. Questions for Coach Self. Hi, Bill. Um, just wonder uh, what the challenges are, if they are different challenges with a younger team to um, have them in the right mindset. I, th I think it's a different challenge for, you know, maybe guys that haven't had a chance to compete in the tournament before. Uh, you know, with us, we've only got two that have competed in it, Marcus and uh, and Mitch. So even though we have transfers and we have some experience, they're, they're all it's all brand new to them as well. So I I, th I think it's it's pretty easy uh, all week long to be excited, uh, to be enthusiastic, to have your mind in the right spot. But then when you get down to actually playing, not to have that, feel that extra pressure or to tense up. And so I, I think there is a balance. And I do think experience does help with that. Uh, but certainly we're just doing all we can to make sure our guys are as loose as they can be and understand it should be a reward to play in the tournament and, and to go have fun. Northeastern is um, a really, really hot from behind the arc. Um, and Ochai mentioned just before you came out um, that games like Texas Tech and Iowa State, that where they shot successfully from three, um, could maybe help you in this one. Um, do you think? Th do you think they could? Um, your players could kind of draw from those for this one. Well, I hope we actually defend Northeastern better than we did the other two. Uh, but I do think it helps. You know, uh, obviously we got lit up pretty good uh, uh, both occasions. So. so uh, I, I think it's a. I think from a mindset standpoint, where you go from whatever your philosophy is to clogging the lane or make them score over the top to now you you have to make sure you're there on the catch and short closeouts if any and 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 uh, uh, certainly uh, you know your ball screen defense has to be great because you know they're very very good at scoring off of that and taking advantage of however you guard it. So it, it's it's a challenge and they can shoot and and I don't know if anybody mentioned but but releases are quick I mean that's the thing that's unbelievable they you know you're not very often you see in college basketball where, where you see kids that 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 uh, don't have to dip to shoot and they got guys that don't dip to shoot so it makes it harder close out because you because when you think you're there you're you may not be there in time Bill thank you for your time uh, what would you attribute to your success late in games games decided by couple baskets you rank consistently among the best coaches in games decided by five points or less uh, you know I, I don't I don't know uh, luck uh, you know having a, a player that can go get his own shot at the end of a clock uh, you know that that's a lot of it right there uh, uh, you know if there were many games decided by five points or less then that means we could have easily been up nine with 30 seconds left and, and not close the game right. So, so uh, but, but, but I do think, uh, uh, I think guards that can go get their own is obviously something that's very, very important in, in, in those games. And, and also having guys, guards that can close games out from a free throw standpoint. Also late game situations, you know, having, having guys that can switch five you know, things like that, that, that certainly uh, come into play that don't really come into play throughout, I'd say, the first 38 minutes of a game usually. Uh, Coach, both of these teams came into the season with high expectations based on kind of where they are in, in the landscape of things. Both teams kind of dealt with injuries throughout the year. Do you see any similarities between how they've kind of rounded into form, both you and Northeastern, throughout the season? Well, you know, I, I don't know, you know, all the stuff about uh, uh, Bill's group from a preseason standpoint, so but obviously they're preseason picked high in the league, and 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 uh, you know they finished high. I don't know where they were preseason picked, uh, uh, but but uh, you know uh, they have dealt with some injuries, but they seem to be full strength now. And 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 the the injuries with us ha have been have been disappointing, or what we dealt with has been disappointing, but. But it's been a uh, there's been a finality to it. So so when the, the injury occurs, it's over for that year. When this occurs, it's over for that year. And and uh, when you're bringing guys back, it gives you hope 
but it also can really kind of maybe mess you up in the interim when you don't have them because you know you're coming back, so we're going to keep playing the same way we're playing, even though we're not as good playing that way now, but we know we're going to get them back. So, you know, I don't know if that's happened with North, Northeastern, but certainly with us, the finality of Doak's injury and everything may have, you know, it's awful that it happened, but it may have been a blessing for us the way it did because we knew we could move forward without it. Bill, obviously everyone gets caught up in name brands and you know people like yourself that everyone knows. You were kind of where Bill is. I mean, he's, he's so established in what yeah. he's done. How good is he and, and how maybe underappreciated are guys like him and what they're doing at places like Northeastern? Well, you, you know, my, my first uh, experience uh, having known Bill was when he was with Al at BC. And, and, and you look at the staff that they had at BC. I mean, that was a strong staff. And, and, uh, and then also, uh, uh, to me, Bill is, is, although I, you know, I haven't spent a ton of time with him or anything, but, you know, on the road, and we've always been cordial and, and spoke and everything, but I've always been impressed uh, uh, with, with his thinking about the game. I mean, he would be a guy that would be great to sit on all the boards with the NABC and things like that because he, 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 he gets it, at least from the way I see it. And, and uh, you know, he, and he's, he's accomplished a lot, but certainly it does take me back to my earlier days when, when you're, you're playing four guards and they're all tough as nails and playing around one big and, and, and uh, having as, about as much fun as you can have. You probably have as much fun coaching them as they have playing. And, and you know, that doesn't happen each and every year. So, you know, he, he's, uh, I don't know how old Bill is. He's younger than me, I'm sure. But, but uh, I mean, his career path is certainly on, a, on, a, on an upward tick. Uh, uh, you know, I, I do think he's thought of to be a very well respected and one of the better coaches in our business. Z Chanel, USA Today. Bill, I'm curious about the dynamic of having a former head coach on your staff with Norm. What, what does he bring that's maybe different, better than guys who have never sat in that chair? And then also, why were you okay with bringing someone in? Some, some coaches would be hesitant to bring in someone that had that type of experience might be almost intimidated by it? Uh, no, I, that was not the case. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you know this, but I helped raise Norm's two kids. Norm has been with me since 1995 at Oral Roberts as an assistant and then at, uh, at uh, Tulsa as an assistant, at Illinois as an assistant, and at Kansas as an assistant for one year. And then deservedly so, he got a, he got a fabulous opportunity in New York City. Uh, to coach St. John's, and, and, and I don't want to say it didn't work out well, but they went a different direction after about six years, and, and then we had the opportunity to bring Norm back. So, so uh, uh, I personally don't think that coaches should be uh, in any way, shape, or form intimidated by adding something to their staff that makes them better. And, and, and Norm is a better assistant now, having been a head coach before, because he can see it through different lenses than what he could before. Like a lot of times I think assistant coaches, I know when I was, I saw it through a lens of maybe what's best for the player or, 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 or for this situation as opposed to seeing it through a lens that, well, if we do it this way, this could affect how we handle something a year from now or something like that. And so he brings a maturity to that that, that certainly is very helpful. Bill, just regarding the Northeastern again, would you, is it easy for you to, as you think back all the time on Oral Roberts or, or I Tulsa, don't think back all the time. <laughs> as you occasionally are made to think back on. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, is it easy for you to remember being sort of on the other side of the, the, the brand label? Not, not that um, you, know, you had occasions to play Tulsa, at Tulsa against Carolina and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Is it easy to remember that, that side of the coin? Uh, yeah, it, it, it is easier uh, 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 to remember and certainly, uh, you know, I, I think that so many times, you know, let, let's just let's just be totally candid and honest. You know, when when, when teams watch certain teams play on TV, I, I'm sure if you're at a school like when we were at Tulsa, we've got tired of seeing those schools, and you can name every player one through eight, who they play, even their substitution patterns. Or this is a play they may run out of bounds. You get to know that, but how often do do the players that you're coaching? At, 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 at let's say a school that's on, on that's more exposed, get a chance to see those players, and so you, you come in, you know, uh, into a situation where where, you know, obviously there's mutual respect, but there there may be a little bit more of a chip, uh, of uh, 
uh, on somebody else's shoulder, and that's what you have to negate. It can't mean more to one than it does the other, and it'll certainly mean a lot to them. We know that, but it's got to be just as much or more to us, and, 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 uh, but that's how upsets occur, uh, 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 to be real candid. And certainly we've been, we've been in a situation where, you know, you play somebody and your best player, you know, uh, uh, can't pronounce a name with other teams talk about it. Even though it doesn't have one thing to do with probably the outcome, it does, you know, light a fire more, so to speak. Hey, Bill. Uh, Northeastern doesn't have a single freshman on the squad, uh, while, you know, you guys play four. Uh, do you see that kind of experience coming into effect? Could. Like? Yeah, it could. You know, who knows? It, it, it could. We're young, and uh, certainly uh, I think there's a lot of things that wins in the tournament. I think one of them could be experience. Uh, but I also think that, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of other things that win, too, uh, 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 whether it be – uh, talent or, or, or will or a lot of other intangibles that do as well. But, but certainly uh, we are, we're, we're not only, our experience is, we are less experienced than maybe even four freshmen and a junior because two of our freshmen haven't played until midway or at the very end of the season. So, so it's not like they've been two freshmen out there that have been playing the whole time. We just, we just decided to play David and Nochai, you know, in the last, uh, since February for the most part. So, so we are probably a less experienced four freshman and junior starter than what you would even think it would be. So uh, yeah, obviously that's a concern, yeah. Coach, given what you've been through and the inexperience, does it make it like easier, harder, or just different for you coming into this tournament where obviously you're a well-known program with expectations? Uh, I think it makes it, uh, you, you can say, uh, whether it makes it, uh, it doesn't make it easier because what would make it easier if you got, you know, really good seniors and really talented and, and, and uh, they've been there before, you know, i.e. Devontae and Speed that we had last year. That, 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 that would always be the easiest deal. But, but has, it been, has it been harder or, or, or less fun? Uh, uh, you know, every team has a different ceiling, and, and, and coaches know that better than any, anybody. And I think our kids have done a pretty good job pl operating against that ceiling for the most part. Not, not always, obviously. Uh, but but uh, uh, I think I know what this team's capable of, and, and I, I think we're capable of doing some great things in this tournament. So uh, that probably makes it more challenging and more fun, but, but it doesn't make it easy, any easier. I, I, I don't feel like when you're at Kansas or, or Carolina or Duke or – Michigan State or, or some of the, or Nova now, you know, or whatever, that, that you go into a deal and say, okay, you're a lower seed, so obviously uh, the pressure's off. I, I don't think, I think there's always pressure to perform at a place like ours, and, and certainly I don't, I don't want that to leave. Uh, uh, I want our guys to accept that and, and, and uh, know that's just how it is when you play here, but, but it, it, is, it is challenging, but, but on the flip side, it, it's, it's very rewarding and, and can be very fun, too. Bill, Diedrich's been one of the go-to guys for your team this season. What do you kind of expect out of him for this one? Well, I, I expect him to be our best player. You know, I think the, I think uh, something that wins in the tournament is your best players play their best. Uh, and so certainly we expect him to, to uh, uh, be good tomorrow and we expect him to, to be good as long as we're fortunate enough to stay around. And, and if he's not, then, 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 then you know, we got we to gotta certainly, uh, uh, you know, uh, have others step up, but but the reality of it is 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 uh, you know our chances to be successful are, aren't as high when our best players don't play well. That's the same way it is with any team. But yeah, we we, we expect to play through him, and we're definitely going to going to ride him. Uh, we have all year long. We have time for two more questions. Bill, uh, Northeastern's best player came from Serbia. He spent a year at Wichita Sunrise yeah. Christian. Mm -hmm. Do you remember him? At Sunrise, I, know. I, I, I did not scout. I did not scout Sunrise the year that he was there, uh, but I've watched a lot of tape on him a lot, and, and we've talked to people in in Wichita and everything. He's he's a fabulous player. I mean, he he plays with pace. He's got you know he's a point guard with size. He's got great vision, and his stroke is pure. You know, uh, 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 he he's he's a tough matchup. He's a tough matchup, and and certainly. Uh, uh, you know, I, I don't want to say that that because I, I I I do know of him before the selection show came out. I'm not going to say that by any stretch that I didn't because I did, 
but he, after watching him, he's got to be one of the better unknown talents in America. He's a, he's a really good guard. Coming from a, a foreign country like he did, do you see any kind of style of play that maybe you wouldn't see from an American player or not? Uh, I would say, you know, you know, I, I don't know. He, his his skill set, you know, he's got range. He can handle. He he's got size. He, you can you can tell probably at a very early age age he learned how to be a point guard even though he's tall uh, uh, because of skill set. But you know, we, we had a kid last year in Spee that that I see a lot of similarities in the way they carry themselves on the court. All right. Thank you, Coach. Okay. Thank you, guys.